Hello everyone, this is Harless58 signing on. I wanted to give a updated video of the Osram Lightify system, the Flex RGBW lights. Um, <clears throat> since I pushed out that video, Google has um, since updated Google Home so that there is uh, integration between the Osram Lightify system utilizing their first, par um, first party gateway and Google Home, similar to the way that it is on Alexa, or um, the way it's been on Alexa, I think, for a couple of months. So, last time in the video, if you guys haven't seen, um, I will post a link to the previous video on how I integrated the um, Flex RGBW strips into my Google Home. Um, I used SmartThings, which was a pretty good workaround, and um, it really was awesome. No, There were no um, cons, uh, so to say, Besides the fact that you couldn't use the Ostram Lightify like their own app for the lights because they had to be added under SmartThings as independent devices. So that meant that uh, you couldn't use the presets that were already entered via the um, Lightify app and then the scenes that they have. And the scenes are pretty cool. So that was a decent negative. Um, so now anyway, since Google has now offered integration, you can use your voice to control the lights via the Google Home. And also you can control them directly from the Lightify app. So I'm going to bring up the Lightify app now actually so I can show you all. Turn the brightness down. Okay. So here is the, sorry, the Lightify app. As you can see, I have two separate um, lights or two separate groups. I have cabinet lights in here and then I have my bedroom lamps. So I'll show you guys how it works with the Google Voice integration first. Hey Google. Turn on cabinet lights. See, they come on one at a time. Sure, turning two lights on. And I will say that um, it takes a little bit, not a little bit of a while. The ones in the bedroom sometimes take a little bit longer, but there is a slight delay. And then when you tell Google to turn on the lights, it will turn on to whatever setting they were previously at. Something that I don't like, previously I could say, okay, so watch this. Hey Google, turn off cabinet lights. So. Okay, turning off two lights. If I was to if I was to tell Google now to set the lights to red, the lights will not come on. Before, when I would see, say, Hey Google, set lights to red, um, they would turn on. Watch this. Hey Google, set lights to red. So the lights will not come on, but they now have been set to red which sort of sucks if okay, I tell light Google light to, to set red. lights to red, I want the lights to come on. Hey Google, turn on cabinet oh. lights. So as you can see, they're red now. Okay, turning two lights on. And they do come on one at a time. So all of the lights now have been set to red via Google, but they all have not come on. So it's a, sep a separate step, which to me is a little idiotic. Hopefully there's an update that allows for that. Obviously, if I'm telling you to set a light to red, then that means I want it to come on. Um, <clears throat> so the voice integration <clears throat> from Google is relatively the same as it was before. Again, any light, any color you want. Hey Google, set cabinet lights to blue. Sorry, I don't know how to help with that yet. Hey Google, set cabinet lights to blue. Sure, changing two lights to blue. Yeah, so, um... You know, any color that you can think of, that, that'll be the way it is. And it does show, so here I'm going to show you the Lightify app. Let me just turn down my brightness to make sure you guys can see it. So here in the Lightify app, you see that the cabinet lights have turned to blue on the app. So watch this. Hey Google, set cabinet lights to pink. Sure, changing two lights to pink. So you see that it did change on here, it's showing up as red, don't know why. Um, and then obviously I can go in here and I can change it. So I'll go ahead and show you guys the app now. So you tap on this if you want to change the color, any color you want. And then you, as you guys can see, the lights have instantly changed. Um, so that is a good thing when you can use, utilize this app to go ahead and change the lights instead of having to use your voice all the time so that's cool that's a plus also the scenes so let me back out 
So here, um, again, this is the group for my cabinet lights. It shows flex RGB uh, W1, RGB W2, and then you tap this if you want to change the color, as I just showed you a second ago, and the color changes instantly. I can go and adjust the brightness. Let's say if I just want to change the degree of the light, if I want it to be really warm, I can do that. Super warm, if I want to change it there. If I want it to be more of a daylight blue, I can go ahead and do that. So it ranges, as you can see here, it uh, goes up to 6,500 from 1,500. Um, also, I can adjust the brightness, so if I want to dim it down to 10% or whatever the case may be, I can do that from the app. Obviously, I can do this from the uh, Google Home as well. In the Google Home, you can't really adjust the degrees. I can, I'll go ahead and, let's see. Hey, Google, set cabinet lights to 3,300 Kelvin. My apologies. I don't understand. Yeah, the lights just cut, cut off because I tapped the power button by accident. So you can't adjust the degree of the light color via Google. I believe you can tell it to set it like uh, to daylight or something like that, and it'll try to adjust it to that degree, but you can't manually tell it a color, at least now. Um, so uh, the scenes, which I said is pretty cool. You can go down here to scenes, and you can set it this to ocean. And if you, um, let's see, I'll, I'll, I'll adjust the speed. So here in the scenes, the way that this sort of works is it's almost like maybe a, a screensaver would be a good way to say it. I'll go to this one so it's a bit more easier to see. I'll go to Lightify Loop, where it's just going to go through a range of colors. So as you can see, the colors are changing. Um, so it's like moving lights. I really can't think of another way to describe it. Um, I mean, a screensaver is pretty good, but you can see that the colors are changing and progressing. Again, this is very, to me, it's pretty cool. I like this feature. Um, and if you had it directly integrated with smart things, you didn't really, you, you couldn't get this. So here they have different scenes. I go to fireplace, so you can check this one out. Um, and then it's like a the flicker of the light. It sort of goes on. It's really pretty cool to see. Let's see how turn this off and see how it captures the colors. Might be a so bit more difficult, but at nighttime, it's pretty cool because you see the light bouncing off the walls. I also have the same setup in my uh, bedroom, but I have it with the A19 bulbs. So again, cool. Um, and then with in the <clears throat> in the um, presets, you can go here to settings and you can adjust how fast you want it to flicker. So if you want it to be a lot faster, you can do that. Apply, and then you'll see it changes a lot faster. To me, that, that's a little bit too fast. It's like dancing lights. Um, I'll go to Ocean so you guys can see what that looks like. I think I already did Ocean. Um, they have Evening. My favorites are Fireplace, Ocean, and then the Lightify Loop. Also, they have one another one that's pretty cool that I like. It's called Good Night. So you can set this one up, the Good Night, so that it'll turn off within a certain time. So right now, it'll fade away in 38 minutes. You can have it fade away maximally 59 minutes and then fast in one minute. So this is nice if, let's say, it's... 10 01 10 o'clock whatever you want to go to bed by 11 you can set this so that the lights will cut off at 11 and they fade slowly which is nice you know it just gets dimmer and dimmer um at night since i have two bedside lamps well i have three lamps in my bedroom at night i do that um from time to time for my wife and i so we can go to sleep with the lights on but then you know they'll slowly fade away helps you go to sleep um so yeah so again in the app, you also can set presets to whatever you want. As you can see, red, green, and blue are set. If I wanted to add one, um, I go here. Let's say if I like this. I think I can favorite it. I think by hitting scene. Haven't used the app in a while, so some of this stuff is you new. Know, let's see if that's how you save the scene. I don't think so. I think this is a, uh, but let's see, the app is relatively, it's a little slow and some of the things that it does because it has to save it directly to the gateway, sort of sucks. So here's some note that didn't save that, let's see. There's a way to save the favorites, I just haven't. Um, haven't like I said, I haven't utilized this app in a while, and I don't want to waste too much time on this explaining how to do that. So, so yeah, so I mean that's pretty much, um, you know, the Osram Lightify strips in a nutshell.
you obviously can save favorites to whatever color you want. Um, I just don't want to, I don't feel like trying to learn that right here in the video um, for the sake of uh, not wasting too much of you guys' time. So overall, I do think that now since they have offered integration directly to the Austria Modify app, I think that this is awesome. I think I really do like that Google did that because it allows for versatility. <clears throat> you can control the lights with your voice or you can control them from the app. And the app is a lot more robust than what um, the SmartThings app allowed for. So this is Arliss58 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys later.